This tutorial is about editor utility widgets. This is a handy way of creating tools that you can use inside the editor in Unreal Engine to make your job in working with the assets within Unreal Engine or just things you need to do within Unreal Engine easier. So an example here, I have a bunch of files that I've imported that are just numbers. They have uh, no name associated with it, no description, and renaming them all individually would be time consuming and tedious. So this utility, which can be permanently just a tab in the Unreal Engine editor, allows me to add any prefix or suffix to a group of files, see a preview of what that will look like. So if I go, this is a texture, so T underscore example texture. Should capitalize that just for neatness sake. And then say for example under the suffix I wanted to put project information. So this is project one. And so you can see it's T example texture one, which is the original file name, project one. I hit commit and it renames all the files. So this is handy for when you're importing a bunch of files that are just poorly named, or if there's a bunch of files, for example, like if I uh, select a whole bunch of files and I say, create sprite, right? And they all get auto-generated names. But I want to have the names start with, you know, the word sprite to indicate that they're sprites, right? I could do all that and then just put in sprite. So that all of my files that are sprites all start with the word sprite or just whatever. It just a handy way of managing, renaming a whole bunch of files as just an example of you know, a utility that you can add in. Utilities can also work within the editor. So for example, I saw one where it would take all of the assets that you had to, in a level and uh, sort them by folder. So it would put all the lighting assets in a lighting folder, it would put all the static meshes in a static mesh folder, etc., etc. Another example would be you could just create a button that you could have over here so that, uh, for example, when you're working in a 2D game, any object you have selected, it will set that object's Y location to zero to make sure they're all on the same plane. So you can mass select a whole bunch of objects, just hit that button and all of them will be set their Y to zero. So things like that. So just to give you an example, I have this utility set up. I'll show you how it's set up. First thing you want to do is you right click, editor utilities, editor utility widget. Okay. And I already have one created here. Where is it? Tools. And you get your standard widget design screen. Let's zoom in on this. And all I have is very, very simple. I have a vertical box, bunch of horizontal boxes in as separators. I have a text label at the top. I have a text label at the bottom, which is bound to a value. I'll show you how that is set up. Two text input boxes and a button with a text label on it. Very simple setup. Now we'll go to the graph. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot to it. And these are both exactly the same. One is for the uh, prefix name input box and the other one is for the suffix name input box. And all these are doing is anytime someone hits the space bar, because you can't have spaces and file names, it's simply, and you can't see that because these look exactly the same, but in the from box, I've just put in, I just hit the space bar. Right in the two box, there's nothing. So anytime you input a space, it replaces that space with nothing. So if I'm over here and I type in name, I hit space and then name again, see nothing happens. It doesn't allow you to enter it. So very simple protection against an invalid input. And this part up here, this is when you hit the commit button and it takes all of the selected assets goes through a for loop, 
takes the prefix name information, what's in that field, and the object's name itself, and then the suffix name field, puts them together with an append, and throws that out with a, a rename asset node. The only other part of it is under the preview bind, and this is for the, the name preview here. What it does is, just like before, we get selected assets, it gets the array. This time we're only looking at the very first element of the array. It puts together the same thing, the prefix name, the object's name, the file name, and the suffix name, throws them together with one change in that we have a branch checking if the value of the name is none, which is what the default value of the, the array elements are before a file is assigned to them. It just displays the word preview as opposed to normally it would say none. And otherwise it just returns the append of the string. So if I have any file selected, it shows that file's name. If I have multiple files selected, it shows the first file that I had selected's name. It adds in the prefix. It adds on the suffix. Uh, and if nothing is selected, it just says preview. That's it. It's, it's simple, it's straightforward, and it makes dealing with file names nice and quick and easy and add some functionality that is just now permanently available in Unreal Engine whenever I'm working in it. So it's very handy. To run your utility widget, just doing an example here, we'll shut this one down. Just select utility widget blueprint, right click, run editor utility widget. And the first time you run it, it will actually appear just as a, a window just floating and you can just grab it and dock it wherever you want to have it. I just prefer to have it up here and it will just permanently be up there and it will always be up there. When you shut down Unreal Engine, you open it back up, it'll still be there ready to use. Hope you guys found this helpful. Have a good one.